I consider myself a lone wolf. I can go into any situation by myself and run shit no problem. My name is Angela Mazzanti and I'm from Modesto, California and I currently live in Riverside, California. I started getting tattooed when I was about 18 and I'm 25 now so I've accumulated all this work within that matter of years. My first tattoo was actually a simple script. It was Rise or Die Trying, which is from one of my old favorite bands called Four Years Strong. I got it kind of on a whim, was visiting my sister in Fresno, and my mother was insanely mad about it because I was raised in a Catholic family and wasn't allowed to have tattoos, but said fuck it anyways. <laughs> I was going to become a tattoo collector probably around like 16, 17. I had a lot of friends who were tattooed head to toe, always loved the artwork of it. I myself have always been an out there kind of person and the black sheep of my family. Art has always been a big thing to me and expressing myself on the outside and always doing something different kind of always leaned towards wanting to be fully tattooed. So as soon as I knew I was able to start getting tattoos, I started and went hard with it. My most memorable tattoos is definitely my stomach piece. So basically what it is, is it's a wolf head with arrows in it and there's blood dripping out of its mouth. A lot of people recognize me online from it. It gets reposted on like every tattoo page and it's kind of become my signature piece. I got it because I feel like the wolf is my spirit animal. I relate to it very much because I consider myself a lone wolf. I can go into any situation by myself and run shit no problem, but I can also go into any group or pack and kind of lead it. Other than that one, my most memorable tattoo is probably one of my leg pieces, which is a flying pig, and it says never stop dreaming under it. Growing up, no matter what I was doing, people would always tell me like my ideas were kind of out there, crazy, what I wanted to do in life. It wasn't the normal, like, go to school, get a job. I always wanted to be different, and I always saw more for my life. So no matter what anyone would ever tell me, I never stopped dreaming, and I've kind of got to where I'm at now because of that mindset I've always had. part about getting a tattoo for me isn't be trying to think of something. I've got a million ideas for what I want over my body and I don't have enough space for everything that I realistically want. The hardest part for me is honestly trying to sit through it mentally. I build a lot of anxiety and stress up before the tattoo session. Aside from that, it's also picking the artist who I want to work, especially because I'm at the point where I don't have a lot of free space anymore. I'm trying to be extremely like picky. I want to be like on point, amazing amazing like because I do have some tattoos that I regret that I wish I would have waited that's also another hard part is looking back at old work and being like well shoot I wish I would have done this with it or got this piece or had this artist work on it by Andy Chin out of San Francisco, California, Nick Castro out of Modesto. I've been tattooed by Ryan out of Fresno, California, David Tower out of Fresno, California, Kareem out of Newport Tattoo, Bo Brady out of San Jose, California, Mikey Tedoso out of Huntington Beach, California, and Vince Lee out of Los Angeles, California. My name's Angela Mazzanti, I'm from Modesto, California, and thank you for watching my collection. Who's that now? I'm like yelling and shit. Uh -huh. <laughs>
My name is Angela Mazzanti. I'm from Modesto, California, and thank you for taking. Want me to do it one more time? No. no okay. No, that's good. <laughs>